Hello, and welcome back to Mr. Moher Music. And this time, we're getting into the difficult things. Time signatures. And I'm going to get you to fill in the missing notes in a bar. What does that mean? Well, I'm going to explain it, but first, the things we're going to need to know to do this. Note values. Let's go over them again. It doesn't matter how many times we go over them, it's going to help us remember them. Here we go. Semi-brief. Squished circle, held for four beats. Next note. Minim, held for two beats. Squished circle with a stem. Remember, if it's below the middle line, the stem goes up. If it's above the middle line, the stem goes down. Crotchet, held for one beat. Squished circle, coloured in with a stem. Below the middle line, the stem goes up. Above the middle line, the stem goes down. Quaver. Half a beat. Squished circle coloured in with a stem up the side and a tail. If it's below the middle line, the stem goes up. If it's above the middle line, the stem goes down and the tail always goes the same way. So, one more thing. Remember, if we've got two quavers together, the tails can disappear and be joined together. That's the main things you need to remember from what we've already done, but now for something new. Time signatures. What are time signatures? Let me explain. At the beginning of a piece of music, you will normally see two numbers. One number on top of the other number. The top number tells us how many beats there are in a bar. So in this case, we've got three beats in a bar. The bottom number is the type of beat that's used. Now we're not too worried about the bottom number at the moment because we're going to use four for all of our examples. And four on the bottom means crotchet, which means three four is three crotchet beats in a bar. So we need to know what a bar is as well. So let's look at your task and this will explain it. Your task is going to look just like this. We've got a treble clef at the beginning. And you can see on this task I've made it nice and easy because all of the notes are on... Ooh, what note? Should we work it out? It's not a line, it's a space. F-A-C-E. The note A. I've put all of the notes on A for this to make it nice and easy. Now at the beginning, let's look out for those numbers. Four, four. Four beats in a bar, for crotchet beats in a bar if you want to be really accurate. Can you see there's three question marks? And that means there's a note missing from that bar. Now bars are a solid line that runs all the way from the top line of the stave to the bottom line of the stave, and they block the music into chunks of, in this case, because we're in 4-4, four, four, four beats. So let's have a look at what you have to do. We need four beats in every bar. Let's look at how many beats we have in this first bar. We have a crotchet worth one beat, and another crotchet worth one beat, and a third crotchet worth one beat. Our bar needs to add up to four, which means we need one more beat, which means we need to add, hopefully you've already worked this one out, a crotchet. So in your task, You'd need to add a crotchet if that's what it looks like on your task. Next bar needs to add up to how many beats? Four, because we're working in 4-4 four, four time. The first note we have there is a minim, yes, worth two beats. So we've already got two beats. Our next note is a crotchet worth one beat, which means to complete this bar to make it worth four beats, we need one more beat. So we're going to draw in that bar. Have you worked it out? It's a crotchet. Our last bar is definitely the trickiest one. Still going to be worth four beats because we're working in 4-4 four, four time. But let's go through this because we've got lots of quavers. We've got one, two, three, four, 
five quavers to start with. So in total so far we've got two and a half beats. We've then got a crotchet that's worth one beat. So we've got three and a half beats so far which means we need half a beat more to make four which means we need to draw which note? Have you worked it out yet? It is a quaver. Are you ready for something a bit more difficult? This time I've moved the notes up and down all over the place and more importantly than where the notes are pay attention to the time signature. I've changed the time signature to 3-4 which means every bar needs to add up to have you got it? 3. So our last example was 4-4 four, four, 4 beats in a bar this is 3-4 so we only need 3 beats in a bar. So let's look at the first bar. There's a crotchet. How many beats is a crotchet worth? One. Followed by another crotchet. That's another one beat. So we've got two beats. We need to put one more beat in that bar, which must mean we need a another crotchet. Now, you can choose, when you're doing this task, where on the stave you put that crotchet, as long as your tail goes the right way. Let's look at our second bar. And we can see our question mark, that's where our missing note needs to go. We have one crotchet. As we need to make this bar add up to three, it must mean we need a note that's worth two beats. Can you remember a note that's worth two beats? Hopefully you remember the minim. It's worth two beats, that's our squish circle that's not been coloured in with a stem. Let's put that on there, on the note F. There we go. And because it's above the middle line, the, the stem is going down. Let's look at our last beat on this example. Our last bar on this example. And the first beat, got a quaver. Half a beat. And then we've got another half beat. So we've got one beat so far with those two quavers. Then we've got a crotchet. So we've got two beats now. Then we've got one more quaver, so we've got two and a half beats. We need it to add up to three, so we only need to find half a beat more. That means we needed one more quaver. So, it's over to you now. I've put a link in the description box below for a worksheet for you to have a go at filling in the missing beats check really carefully before you start what the time signature is because that will really change what you need to put in your answer. So good luck and have fun and yes this is difficult and it is a challenge but I know that you can do it. If you get stuck just go back watch my examples in this video and it should help you.